ten prayers for Catholics to pray each day. Friday of the second week of Advent, Overcoming Harsh Words. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Come, long-expected Jesus, excite in me a wonder at the wisdom and power of your Father and ours. Receive my prayer as part of my service of the Lord, who enlists me in God's own work for justice. Come, long-expected Jesus, excite in me a hunger for peace. Peace in the world, peace in my home, peace in myself. Come, long-expected Jesus, excite in me a joy responsive to the Father's joy. I seek His will, so I can serve with gladness, singing and love. Come, long-expected Jesus, excite in me the joy and love and peace it is right to bring to the manger of my Lord, raising me to sober reverence for the God who acted there, hearty gratitude for the life begun there, and spirited resolution to serve the Father and Son. I pray in the name of Jesus Christ, whose advent I hail. Amen. For John came neither eating nor drinking, and they said, He is possessed by a demon. The Son of Man came eating and drinking, and they said, Look, he is a glutton and a drunkard, a friend of tax collectors and sinners. Matthew 11, 18-19a Reflect today upon the way you look at others around you, and especially how you speak about them. Look at their virtue and try to honestly honor them for it. And if you see yourself falling into any form of jealousy or envy, Surrender it over to our merciful God, so that it doesn't turn into the ugly sin of calumny. Let us pray, O Lord, stir up our hearts, that we may prepare for Thy only begotten Son, that through His coming we may be made worthy to serve Thee with pure souls. Through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Lord, help me to see others in the light of humility and truth. Help me to see their goodness and virtue and to rejoice in it. Strip from me any falsity and calumny. Jesus, I trust in you. Father, in the wilderness of the Jordan, you sent a messenger to prepare people's hearts for the coming of your Son. Help me to hear his words and repent of my sins so that I may clearly see the way to walk, the truth to speak, and the life to live for Him, our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. All-powerful God, increase our strength of will for doing good, that Christ may find an eager welcome at His coming, and call us to His side in the kingdom of heaven, where He lives and reigns with you, and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Father in heaven, our hearts desire the warmth of your love and our minds are searching for the light of your word. Increase your longing for Christ our Savior and give us the strength to grow in love that the dawn of his coming may find us rejoicing in his presence and welcoming the light of his truth. We ask this in the name of Jesus the Lord. Amen. God of power and mercy, open our hearts in welcome. Remove the things that hinder us from receiving Christ with joy, so that we may share his wisdom and become one with him when he comes in glory. For he lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Father in heaven, the day draws near when the glory of your Son will make radiant the night of the waiting world. 
May the lure of greed not impede us from the joy which moves the hearts of those who seek Him. May the darkness not blind us to the vision of wisdom which fills the minds of those who find Him. We ask this in the name of Jesus the Lord. Amen. Lord God, may we, your people, who look forward to the birthday of Christ, experience the joy of salvation and celebrate that feast with love and thanksgiving. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, ever faithful to your promise and ever close to your church. The earth rejoices in hope of the Savior's coming and looks forward with longing to his return at the end of time. Prepare our hearts and remove the sadness that hinders us from feeling the joy and hope which his presence will bestow, for he is Lord forever and ever. Amen. Lord, fill our hearts with your love, and, as you revealed to us by an angel the coming of your Son as men, so lead us through his suffering and death to the glory of his resurrection, for he lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, for ever and ever. Amen. Father, all-powerful God, your eternal word took flesh on our earth, when the Virgin Mary placed her life at the service of your plan. Lift our minds in watchful hope to heart the voice which announces his glory, and open our minds to receive the Spirit who prepares us for his coming. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. O Shepherd of Israel, hearken, O Guide of the flock of Joseph, rouse your power and come to save us. O Lord of hosts, restore us. If your face shine upon us, then we shall be safe. O Lord of hosts, how long will you burn with anger while your people pray? You have fed them with the bread of tears and given them tears to drink in ample measure. You have left us to be fought over by our neighbors and our enemies mock us. O Lord of hosts, restore us. If your face shine upon us, then we shall be safe. Dear Lord Jesus Christ, in the midst of all the hectic activity during this Christmas season, let me never forget this holiday is about you, first and foremost. Help me to embrace true humility, as you, the King of Kings, did by being born not in a mansion or even an inn, but rather in a cave, so that I might one day merit eternal life with you in heaven. Dear Lord Jesus, let me never forget, in my own downcast moments, that you too felt vulnerability in Bethlehem, as well as loneliness in your earthly ministry. Help me to show others your real love, especially now, as well as all year round, and help me to share that love with others, even if it's just in little acts of kindness. When I feel lonely or confused, let me remember that your love for me is so great that you would have experienced your incarnation and passion for me, even if I were the only person in the world. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, my precious Lord Jesus. I adore you with profound love and rejoice in the celebration of your birth. Your love for us is unfathomable. It is glorious transforming, 
awe-inspiring and deeply personal. You chose to come and dwell among us, being born into poverty, rejection and humility. Yet your mother knew whom she bore. Her heart was filled with the tenderest love as she adored her child and her God. Help me, dear Lord, to come to love you with the heart of your mother. Invite me to adore you with St. Joseph and the poor shepherds. Reveal to me the glorious power of your birth and change my life on account of this perfect gift of yourself. I love you, dear Lord Jesus. Help me to love you with all my heart. Newborn Saviour of the world, I trust in you. Mother Mary and Saint Joseph, pray for me and for all. Amen. Lord, in this holy season of prayer and song and laughter, we praise you for the great wonders you have sent us, for shining star and angel song, for infants cry in lowly manger. We praise you for the word made flesh in a little child. We behold his glory and are bathed in its radiance. Be with us as we sing the ironies of Christmas, the incomprehensible comprehended, the poetry made hard fact, the helpless babe who cracks the world asunder. We kneel before you shepherds, innkeepers, wise men. Help us to rise bigger than we are. Amen. Hail and blessed be the hour and moment in which the Son of God was born of the most pure Virgin Mary at midnight in Bethlehem in the piercing cold. In that hour vouchsafe, I beseech thee, O my God, to hear my prayer and grant my desires. State your intentions here. <laughs> Through the merits of our Saviour Jesus Christ and of His Blessed Mother. Amen. A Christmas Litany Dear Father, Son and Holy Spirit, We come to you this Christmas with thankful hearts. We praise you for the gift of Christ Jesus, our Saviour. Welcome, Lord Jesus. The story of Christ's birth never gets old. We savor the beautiful scriptures. We remember how the Messiah arrived as a baby in Bethlehem. We sing songs to echo the joy of the angels. Glory to the newborn King. We know that Christ was born into a world darkened by sin and injustice. In our world today, people are still suffering. Even in this season of bright lights and joyful songs, we cannot forget that there are people in pain because of poverty, hunger and disaster. Our world is so broken, O Lord. Like the angels, we have good news to share. Jesus Christ is here to change our stories of hardship into testimonies of hope. Thank you, Emmanuel, God with us. Guide us, Messiah, so we can bear witness to your mercy and love. Equip us to support each other so that more people can have enough food, good health, fruitful work and greater justice. May we demonstrate your grace. We are deeply grateful that Jesus can change our stories so we can be free from sin and gain eternal life. We rejoice in all the great things God has done for us. Glory to God in the highest heaven and on earth peace to those on whom his favor rests. Luke 2.14 Moonless darkness stands between, past the past no more be seen, but the Bethlehem star may lead me to the sight of him who freed me from the self that I have been. Make me pure, Lord, thou art holy, make me meek. Lord, thou wert lowly, now beginning, and always now begin on Christmas Day. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.
Thank you.